Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This is very, very exciting. We are going to continue our study of the Rambam. And Hilchus Malachim, Baruch Hashem, we've already had numerous shiurim in the Rambam, Hilchus Malachim. And there's so gishmak. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Elokeinu, Shabranu Lechvodo, Yiftivanu Menatoim, Venosan Lanu Toiras Emes, Rechaye Olam, Nota Besochenu. Sweet friends, this shir should be a special schus for Rafua, for Avram Yosef, Ben Ramosha Chaim, for Atid Edit Bas, Itaracha, or Abadil Ben Atid Edit, and for Tsuriel Ben Shoshana, and for Mordechai Ben Bruria, the Shalab Bracha, the Hatzlacha, the Chol Dehem. And for Moshe Yudah ben Peshadina. The Rambam writes in the second halacha, the eighth parak of Hilchas Malachim, V'chein boyel isha bigiusa im takfo yotzra. A person can also, in the previous halacha, the Rambam spoke about eating on kosher at war. We had a number of shiurim on that. We didn't complete the series yet. I hope we do, because there's so much more to say on the previous halacha. But I often fear that I lose my oilam. I give too many shirs in this shir on the same topic. Because uh, people, Baruch Hashem, today are swamped with so much to do. And then they also want to learn Torah. And then once they have Torah, they also have a lot to do. People have their Daf Yomi shir, their Chavrusa, shirim they attend. And then to listen to shirim online, Baruch Hashem, there are probably millions of shirim. So, hard for people to hear all of them. Uncle Panim, in this halacha, the Ramam continues and he says that A man, a soldier, can be boel, a woman, as a goya, if his yetzer overpowers him. But he shouldn't just have beer with the girl. He sees this girl in war. This is the parish of Eishas Yifas Toya. He sees this girl at war. And he has beer with her. His urges get the better of him. And he's ba'alea. He does what he does. And then he walks away. He says, see you later. No, 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 says the Rambam. Ela machnisa l'soich beiso. Bring her home. Shene amar v'ritza b'shevi eish yifas toyer. You see in captivity an eish yifas toyer. Ve'asur l'vol osa. And one is not allowed to be boil her a second time until he marries her. An interesting proof text the Rambam brings. What's the proof? He shouldn't just have beer with her, he should bring her home. Because he says, You see in captivity, Nations who fast Torah. It's the Raya. In any event, let's see the whole parsha. You capture the enemy. And see in captivity a beautiful woman. And you desire her. And you take her as a wife. That would be a good proof. Bring her home. Shave her head. And let her nails grow really long so they don't look good. Remove the garment of her captivity from on her. And she sits in your house and you allow her to cry for her parents for a month. And then again, the soldier is allowed to take her and have beer with her. The Ishan shall be your wife. And if he doesn't want her, then Lotus Amerba, he should not. Use her, as Rashi explains. Rather, he should just let her go. Don't sell her. 
don't use her, just let her go. That is the parasha of Aisha Sifras Kea. So now we're going to present a number of questions on this sugya. Based on the Be'er Miriam of Hagoin Hagadol Me'od, Rabbi David Yitzchak Man, Zechet Tzadik Lefrochi. Kesef Mishnah, and I go to my money, bring the Yerushalmi and Makas, Perik Beis, Halach Avav, which is cited by the Tosis in Mesechas Kedushim, and of Chav Beis Amar Aleph, the Dibu Amaschil Shalo, and in Sanhedrin Chav Aleph Amar Aleph, the Dibu Amaschil Di'i. But there's a machlokas between Rav and Shmuel. According to Rav, the first Bia is Mutter at war. And only the second bia is done after all of the meisim described in the parsha, the letting go of the nails and the shaving of the head, etc. First bia is at war, and the second bia is afterwards. Uli Shmuel, and according to Shmuel, the first bia is also not mutter until he does all the meisim. He's not allowed to stun have bia with her, but rather. He has to do all of the maizim, and then he may have beer with her. The Rambam paskins like Rav, because the Rambam says, first he has beer with her, and then he brings her home and he does all the maizim that the Torah describes. And this is based on the Sigi and Sanhedrin, that Tamar was mutter to Amnon. Why? Because she wasn't really his brother. She was a Basifas Toar. Her mother was Stam, a non Jewish prisoner of war. So, when did he have beer with her? When she was not yet Jewish. Before she converted. Before her mother converted. This woman is Bechal not to this girl, Tamar, is Bechal not of its daughter. If she's not Bas David, he had beer with her when she was a guy, and she's not David's daughter. But according to Shmuel, that by the time David had beer with her, by the time he had beer with the Ishti Bas Torah, you've already done all the Maisim, and she's already Jewish. It, Tamar was David's halachic daughter, and she was forbidden to Amnon. I ain't Sham in the Yerushalmi, cited by Tosfus. However, Rashi in Kedushin, Dibu Amaschi, Shiloh Yechotzena Bamulchama, writes, what does that mean? To have beer with her, love Oala. And Tosis explains Das Rashi, that beer Rishona is only mutter after all of the mice, and that's what it means, Shiloh Yechotzena Bamulchama, not to have beer with her during the Mulchama, meaning, you can't just see her in war and take her and have beer with her. Rather, after all of the mice in the parsha, then you can have beer with her. And so is Mashman and Rashi in Kedushin, and Dav Samach Ches, Ahmed Beis, and Dibur Amaschil Ba'acharkach, Frek Toisus Oifin Rashi, in Kedushin, and Sanhedrin, from the Heter of Tamar, Mitzad Basifas Toya. According to Rashi, it was the Achar Gerus. So, what's the Heter of Tamar? According to, according to, uh, they asked from the Heter of Tamar because she was a Basifas Toar. But according to Rashi, it was after Gerus. And if it's after Gerus, that means she's Jewish. And that means she's really David's daughter. So how was she Muteris to Amnon? So as Tosas on Rashi, what's the Heter of Tamar that she was a Basifas Toar? If the Muhammad, according to Rashi, one's not allowed to have beer with this woman. And it's only la'achar kol ha'maisim, which includes her becoming Jewish and the man taking her as his wife. So how could it be that Tamar is permitted to Amnon when Tamar's mother was la'achar gerus and Mamela, she was really David's daughter, and then she's asr to Amnon. So Tosus was nidchak, that basifas Torah means that her mother was already pregnant when she converted. And therefore... She's not David's daughter. So that's very dachuk. And why is it taluing nifas toar? What does it matter that her mother converted? The point is not yifas toar. The point is not that her mother converted. The point is that this baby belongs to Bechal, another father. She was already pregnant from before. So 
The Mara says it's Alice Brasi Fas Toya, but according to Tosa's explanation, it's not. So Tosa is very schwer, and that's what the Marit asks on Tosa there. there. We also have to understand, that's, first, that's one kasha, we have to understand also the Gemara in Chulin, that Kuf Tas Amit Beis, that whatever the Torah answered, he was mati or something parallel. So he answered a kusis, he answered a goya, but he was mati or he fast toya. So this type of goya is asura. But we also have a goya that's muteris, he fast toya. But according to Rashi, this is shver, because according to Rashi, he only takes her lacher kol ha-maisim. And lacher kol ha-maisim, she's showing a yid. She's already a yid, a yid in it. She's already Jewish. So what's the, what's the parallel? Asar kusis, shari yifas toya. What is, what is, what's the parallel? Akusis is not Jewish. And yifas toya is Jewish. So memela, so memela, there's no parallel here according to Rashi. So what's Pshat in the Gemara? And that's the Kasha of the Toysus Rid in Kedushan there. Toysus in Kedushan also asks from the Sugi on the Chofala from the base, like Abbe Koyen Vifas Toyar, there's a chilek between the first Bia and the second Bia. And the second Bia is already no good because she's a Giyoyres. But wait a second. If the first Bia is also after Geiros, and what's the nafkamina between the first bia and the second bia? The same problem you have with the second bia you have with the first bia. So that's Tosis Kashif. Really, one needs to go through all the mice, and like Rashi says, after uh, before he has bia with her, so then what's the difference uh, for a Kohen, whether it's bia Rishon or bia Shniya, she has the same status. Kashif. However, look in the Avne Miluim. Simon Dalit, Sif Kotten Yud Gimel. The Kvar Kodmoi, the Gur Arye of the Maharal at the beginning of Pashis Kisetze. And look also very Choshuv, the Minchas Chinuch, and Mitzvah Tov, Kuf, Lamet Beis. And it's Mefurish like that in Rashi and Sanhedrin. Bedibur Amaschil Tamar, and Bedibur Amaschil Mihalo. That even after Geirus Baal Korcha, since it's not Belev Shalem, it's not considered a Geirus. And because of this, Tamar, who was born from this Bia, meaning Bia with Tamar's mother, that was Baal Korcha, that was Begeirus, after done after Geirus, Baal Korcha, she's not considered David's daughter, Ayin Sham. And so writes the Rash Babikidushin, the Das Rashi, what Rashi learns that the reason Tamar is not considered David's daughter, even though there was a Geirus, is because the Geirus wasn't the Leif Shalem, it was Baal Karcha, and therefore it's no good. And so says Rashi and Sefer Shmuel, in Perak Yud Gimel, Pasuk Yud Gimel. And because of this, there's a Nafgamina between the, the Biarishona, which was when she was forced to convert, and Shnia where she's a full Jew. But it's Tamua Ladas Rashi, from what it says in the Gemara and Kedushin, and you should take her, Lekuchim Yesh Lechaba. So the parsha says that you have Lekuchim. You can marry her. You can halachically marry her. But if it's talking about Nizgaira Midaita, if she already converted willingly, then Pshita, the Gemara is now telling us a Chiddush that it's a mutter, that the Kedushin is okay, Kedushin is valid. Pshita, she's a Giyores. So Baal Korcheinu, we have to say that it's Baal Korcha, that it was against her will. But wait a second. According to the way Rashi learns, the Geiris isn't Chal, and the son has her status, and uh, of, of, of being her son and not Jewish. And how is the Kedushin Tophes? If it's the Kedushin Baal Karcha, 
how's the Kedushan Tofes? She's not Jew. If the Geiris, Slicha, if the Geiris was Baal Karcha, how's the Kedushan Tofes? She's Bechal uh, not the Jewish. So the Avne Miluim says that it's Xeris HaKosov, that in such an instance, Kedushan is Tofes Ba'akom. Ayin Shama Shekosav Miperish Hatur Al Hatara. But we still have to ask, like the Avne Miluim there asked, that if that's the case, that it is Xeris HaKosov, Shepachai Gavana, that in such an instance, Kedushan is Tofes Ba'akom, then how come Tamar is not David's daughter? Because this is totally in Tfisis Kedushan, like we see in the Sugin Kedushan Samachas Samad Beis. There's also the Kashli Reim in Mitzvah Chafayin Sham. So if it says Tfisis Kedushan, then it's considered his daughter. She is Miyuchas to him. So how can you say then that uh, she's not his daughter? She is his daughter, since there's Xeris HaKasad, that there's Tfisis Kedushan. So we're really stuck on Rashi. Rashi in Kedushan, Dav Chav Beis, Amin Aleph writes, Likuchin, Kedushin Tovsim. The Kedushin is Tofes. The Kedushin is a valid Kedushin. And even though the Afal Pizak Rashi, Shehaisa Oyvedes Kalchavim, even though she was an idolater, because she's not converting willingly. Ad kan midivre Rashi. Tosis read, writes a different lashon. Afal pi shehi akum, not shehi sa obedis kolchavim, that she is now an akum. So midivre Tosis read, we have a chiddush in hilchas geiras. That the Kedushin is Toifes, even though Mitzad Geirus, she's still a Goya. But Rashi writes, the Afal Pi Shehoisa Ovedes Kochavim. She was an Ovedes Kochavim. That's his Gur Gura Madnalashin, because now she's no longer an Ovedes Kochavim. Now she's Jewish, she only was. So why then? Is her son not Jewish? If she only was a Goya, but now she is no longer a Goya, so then her kid should be Jewish, and then be miyuchas to David. Tamar should be miyuchas to David. So why isn't her child a Jew? And also, what do we care that she was the Afal P, right? She says. And even though she was an Ovedis Kochavim, still the Kedushin is Tofi. Who cares what she was? That was then, this is now, as I think Dickens famously said. Now she's Jewish. And Rashi says, Sharei Enam is Gaeris mi Daita. Because she was in Ms. Gaeris mi Daita. So first Rashi says, She was a Goya. Now she's Jewish. Mashma, now she's Jewish. And it says, She ain't a Ms. Gaeris mi Daita. She doesn't really want to be Ms. Gaeris. So that would seem to say, Okay, then maybe the, the Gaeris really wasn't Chal. And if the Geras was in Chal, then what good is the Geras to make her mutter, to make the Kedushin be Tofes? The Geras was in Chal, not Midaita. And if that's the case, then where do we know B'chlal that there's Geras? Maybe there's no Geras at all. Maybe all you need are the Maisim that are written in the Parsha. 
and there's no Geras at all, you want to tell me that Lekuch, and okay, so we have some sort of Geras HaKasa that he could marry this non-Jewish woman. But where do you see that there's Geras at all? Rashi puts in Geras. Torah doesn't say Geras. The parasha just says what Maisim she does. So this will just be like we said, a Geras HaKasa of Tfisus Kedushin. Minayim lano sheish po Geras. We also have a Ramban in his parish al at the beginning of parishes Kiseitse, Dvarim Perikhaf, Psukim, Yudbez, Yudgimel, Yudalit. Pasuk Yudbez. He writes that since she's not Ms. Geras Biritsona, he can send her Lanafsha, Evsha Lasholcha Lanafsha, Velo Nachrichena, Lish Mordas Moshe. We'll send her away, and we will not force her to keep the religion of Moses. And so Ayin Sham and the Ramban, and so the Ramban writes, Shein Atzricha Imenu Get, Kishelakcha, Elisha Asar Kasuv, she doesn't need a get. Just the Pasuk made her like an Eshesish. Pasuk so and Pasuk at Gimel. There's no Tfisis Kedusha Shtar Kesef. Shtar and Kesef. Because she still has the Deen of Akum. And that that it says, V'haitza l'chali isha, she's his wife. That if she was mezanet, mezano, tachta of Rachman al-Itzlan, she has a din of an Eishasish, because the Torah is makne, this woman to this man, and he's mechuyev in she'er ksus in ona. He has to fulfill his obligations, his marital obligations, his husbandly obligations, towards this woman, providing her with food, with clothing, and with ample uh, relations. Like the Avnei Miluim said, that there's Xerus Sarkasif here, that she's his wife. Nevertheless, Ramban writes, Pasuk Yedalid, Shemachrei Bi'ilasa, Tamo Imo Yomim Rabim, V'yavo Ala, Kvar Naseis Ishto, V'inei Yehudis, Umizgaresh is began. But if after the Bi'ila, she's with him for many days and he has beer with her, she becomes his wife, she's Jewish, and she gets divorced with a Jewish get. He can't just send her away. And this is Shver Tzufarstein. It's difficult to understand. How did she become Jewish? Her Geirus is not a Geirus according to the Ramban. So how pitom did she become Jewish? So the Minchas Chinuch wanted to say that she was Ms. Gayeres, afterwards Merit Sona. Just the Ramban didn't, uh, the Ramban wrote Bekitzer. But that's very, very dochok. The Ramban never said that. To put that into the Ramban, it's a, don't sign your house on that one. Also, the Ramban wrote in Pasukit Beis that you send her away, Shalachta Nafsha, Velo Nachrichen, Elishmor Das Moshe. And we're not going to force her to observe the religion of Moses. Since she's not Ms. Gayeris Meritsona. But then, Pasuk Yedale, the Ramban does an about face, and he's Mistapek. It says that you send her away, and it says in the Sifri, Safiya, does this mean that she's Jewish, and that she must continue keeping the religion, or not? Oh! So first, the Ramban was sure of himself. And he said, no, 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 she's not Jewish. And then the Ramban says, maybe she is. And then in Pasuk Yedalid, after he writes his suffix, then he writes again, Bipshitos. No, 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 she doesn't need to get, she's not Jewish. So he's mamish sosa himself, mine ube, mimenu ubo. He's sosa himself. Because first he says, I'm not sure. And then he says, no, no, no she's not Jewish. In Mod Nezach. And then Chaschinuch was all made on this. Ayin Shem Shalotiyas. 
So uh, we have a whole slew of questions on this sugya. And we didn't even list, we even skipped, a, skipped one. And uh, there's still more, obviously, because it's Torah, and Torah doesn't end. We're Chavamin Eyam. And uh, I hope in the Mirza Shem, in the next shear, we will uh, st- understand, we will start breaking some ground in the sugya, understanding Yanei Geirus, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us the koach and the moach and the simchas chayim to properly understand this sugya and uh, understand how this Eish Yisifat's Torah works and that we should be zelcha lilmo du lelameh lishma v'lasas kayim is called divrei salma teras v'yahava so I'm hoping to see Ante Dishmai Beli Neder Hashem should give me the koach and the moach and the financial means and the simchas chayim to continue and hopefully we'll continue next time Shalom, Shalom Sweetest and most beloved friends.